Hi children, I hope you're all well. I hope you're still having lots of fun at home and you've been enjoying the lovely sunshine we've had. Um, so it's my turn to do a video again. And last week, Miss Ward read The Gruffalo to you. And I thought this week I would read The Detective Dog. So this is also by Julia Donaldson. <clears throat> so, there was once a dog with a keen sense of smell. She was known far and wide as Detective Dog Nell. Sniff, 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 time after time, Nell the detective solved crime after crime. Who threw the hazelnuts down from the trees? Who took the honey away from the bees? Who did the poo on the new gravel path? And how did the spider get into the bath? Sniff, 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 with a wag of her tail, Nell the detective was hot on the trail. Nell shared her house with a person called Peter, a very nice child, though he could have been neater. And six-year-old Peter was one of those boys who kept on mislaying his clothes and his toys. Sniff, 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 nose to the ground. These are the things Detective Dog found. The bus in the bowl and the book in the bed, the sock in the sofa, the shoe in the shed, the tumble-down teddy, the bounce-away ball. Nell, the detective, discovered them all. Now, now did detection from Tuesday till Sunday, but did something totally different each Monday. She found Peter's bag and she tracked down her lead, then set off a school where she heard children read. The children loved reading their stories to Nell, and Nell loved to listen and also to smell. Sniff, 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 mixed in the air, were plasticine, custard and newly washed hair. The crusts in the bins and the coats on the hooks but the best smell of all was the smell of the books. Books about dinosaurs, books about knights, books about planets and meteorites, books about princes who turned into frogs, books about dragons and books about dogs. But then came a Monday was when all was not well. Nell sniffed the air and she smelled the wrong smell. <gasps> Into the classroom, the two of them hurried and found Mr Jones looking terribly worried. He tugged at his hair and he let out a sigh. Peter looked around and he started to cry. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What was going on? The books, cried Peter. The books have all gone. Nell gave a growl when she heard the bad news, but then started sniffing and searching for clues. Sniff, sniff, sniff on the bookshelf, a cap. The thief must have dropped it, the terrible chap. Nell sniffed the cap and then she tugged on the lead and woof, she was off at an astonishing speed. Everyone followed Detective Dog Nell. She stopped at the traffic lights. What could she smell? Sniff, 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 haddock and hay, pizza and penguins and further away. The smell of the thief, how very exciting. Thousands of pages all covered in writing. Then woof, they were off with no time for a stop, past the farm and the zoo and the takeaway shop. They raced through a field where the rabbit smelled good and over a golf course and into a wood. They thrashed through the undergrowth, leafy and dense, till they came to a gate in an old wooden fence. Then Nell started growling and pricked up an ear. She barked and the bark meant, the thief is in here. They flung the gate open and Peter cried, look, for there sat a man with a nose in a book. There were ma many more books poking out of a sack and the children yelled, those are our books, give them back. Sniff, 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 the book thief looked sad. I'm sorry, he sniffled, I know I've been bad. Stealing is wrong, but I just meant to borrow. I was planning to give all the books back tomorrow. To borrow, to borrow, Nell pricked up an ear. She barked and the bark meant, I've had an idea. Then woof, she was off and away they all sped, including the book thief who told them, I'm Ted. Sniff, 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 they raced through the wood and over the field where the rabbits smelled good. They panted and puffed past the takeaway shop, the zoo and the farmyard with never a stop, except to retrieve Peter's scarf and his ball, which someone had thoughtfully placed on a wall. 
till they came to a building with doors open wide. And what did they see when they all went inside? Thousands of books from the floor to the ceiling. The books gave the thief the most heavenly feeling. He gazed in amazement. Where am I? He said. Um, you can join if you want to. You're in the library, Ted. You can join if you want to. There isn't a fee. And then you can take lots of books out for free. So Ted has, has a lovely new library card and he sits reading books in his little backyard. And when it's a Monday, Detective Dog Nell visits the school with the wonderful smell. Sniff, sniff, sniff with a faraway look. She smells and she listens to book after book. Books about dinosaurs, books about knights, books about planets and meteorites, books about princes who turn into frogs, books about dragons and books about dogs. All the old books and a new one as well. The story of daring detective dog Nell. There we go. I like that story. Now I did have your list of tasks on a piece of paper somewhere, but I seem to have lost it. I wonder if Mrs Loftus and her dog Eric could help me. Hi Miss Dunlop and hi children. Sorry, I don't know where your list of tasks are Miss Dunlop. I haven't seen them anywhere. Oh, Eric, what's that you've got? Children, I hope you're all okay and enjoying your time at home. I miss you loads. Hopefully see you soon. Here it comes, Miss Dunlop. Oh, what's this, Liz? What's this? Oh, looks like Miss Dunlop's list of tasks. Oh, I'll have to send that on to her. Oh, oh, wasn't that a great story, boys and girls? Really enjoyed that. Me and Lucy did. Oh, I hope you're all staying safe and staying in. We all miss you lots and lots. Hopefully we'll all be in school again soon together. So let's get this sent back to Miss Dunlop because she'll need this for all your tasks. See you soon. Bye. Take care. Yay. Thanks Mrs Loftus and Eric for finding it. And Mrs Lydia and Lucy for getting it back to me. So task one this week is I would like you to be detectives in your house. You might need a grown-up to help you write the word detective down the side of the page and you need to go around your house and find something that begins with each of those letters. And then task two is I found a video on YouTube of a lady that teaches you how to draw a dog so you can follow it step by step and draw your own dog and you can give it a name as well. Can you see what I've called mine? And then you'll be able to colour it in and make it look lovely. And then task three is practising our numbers and our counting. I would like you to cut out some spots for your dog. And then you can either roll a dice or if you haven't got a dice, you could write your numbers on little bits of paper. And then you can choose one and you have to put that amount of spots on the dog. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Or you could do it the other way around and you could get someone in your family to put some spots on the dog. And then you have to find the number to match. And if you'd like a challenge, you could try with your numbers to 20. That would be good. And then finally, task four is Nell in our story loved lots of different books, but we'd like to know what is your favorite book. Can you write the title and draw the front cover? And can you write why it's your favorite book? maybe who the author is or your favourite character and then when we get back to school we can all share them with each other. So I hope you have a fun week children and um, please remember to send in any photos of activities that you do or also your own activities that you're doing at home. We love seeing what you get up to. So have a lovely week, we're still missing you lots. Bye!